Opioids claim the lives of thousands of Americans every year, and now we're getting some new perspective on its grip with staggering new numbers. It's, a, it's an epidemic that started in our medicine cabinets, which is why opioid painkillers are the focus of a new report out today. Researchers from the Department of Health and Human Services say nearly two in five Americans use narcotic painkillers in the past year. Even more alarming, more than 11 million Americans may be misusing or using more than their prescription even calls for, even taking someone else's pills. This only accounts for those willing to admit to their opioid use. And now we have an exclusive first look at this new device. It looks like a hearing aid, and it could be the key to fighting Ohio's heroin epidemic. An addiction center in Lorraine is one of the first in the state to try it. Only on, only on News 5's Megan Hickey spoke with one of the first patients to give it a try, and she says the results have been life-changing. The patient tells me it was the pain of withdrawal that kept her going back to heroin time and time again. But what if that pain could be erased? Getting high is like a job. After eight years of abusing pain pills and then heroin. You're just chasing it all the time. Candace Stradahar wanted to get clean, but one thing always stopped her. You're just so miserable. The excruciating withdrawal. Your body aches and like you just feel like you're gonna die if you don't have the drug. When she walked into Lakata Way this June, she had no idea that this little gadget would be the answer to her prayers. It's like instant relief, like within like 20 minutes I have it and on. It's called the Bridge Device, a non-narcotic pain blocker. And Stradahar is one of the very first patients in our area that got a chance to try it. For the right population, it's been a game changer. The device sits behind the ear and sends electrical impulses to the brain, significantly blocking pain signals. It felt amazing to be able to feel that way again. It's not for everyone. Patients have to be in full withdrawal. They can't be pregnant, have any bleeding or seizure disorders, or any other implantable electrical devices. But for patients like Candace, it's a tool to add to our arsenal. Again, it's not for everyone, but for those it's appropriate for, it's been a game changer. The device is often used in conjunction with drugs that block opioid receptors like Vivitrol. The cost, about $550, significantly less than a withdrawal stay in a local hospital. In Lorain County, Megan Hickey, News 5.